Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Yes, it is Joy Toy Warhammer 40k time. And you can see I've got the Tau Empire Fire Warrior team uh, here in front of me. This came today. I was really, really surprised. This is the reviewer copy I was sent. I've actually ordered another two or three uh, ones, which will come at a later date when all the normal orders are sent out. Very, very excited about this. And one of my patrons has actually won this Tau Fire Team, uh, Fire Warrior Team. Was it Frank Silver, I think? Uh, and he'll be getting that when they are officially released and joy to a it direct team. So you want to have opportunity to win prizes like this, please do consider joining the Patreon. Link in the top right of your screen. Now, let's get a look at the box. Now, I've taken the cellophane off the plastic, but I haven't actually opened or anything yet. Very cool, the same picture we saw when they were first teased. Oh, that's the Emperor on the side of the box there. Back it shows pictures we've seen already from the front. And they've got names, one of them have name cards. And then from behind, shall I, shall I try butchering their names? Shasuikran, maybe? Shas, Shaslausk. Uso, Shasla Noyaras, Shasla Dranmai. Maybe. <sighs> Never side just tells you the normal info. Okay, so I will have a quick unboxing on camera since this is all completely new. And I think it's going to be individual boxes since they're, yeah, since they are individually named. Have a quick look at the boxes. Same, and there is nothing new that we haven't seen already on the back. Same pictures we've previously seen. Look very nice. It'd be interesting to see a bit later on what the actual articulation is going to be like on these but the photos i think look amazing the pictures like this on the front and what else we've seen look amazing just hope the toys live up to the uh, aesthetics that they are showing right very very cool so i'm going to unbox these set them up and we'll get a look so i'll be back in instant stay tuned okay here they are they do look good let me just angle this camera down boop 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 boop, boop and that's a bit too much. And a little zoom in. Boop, 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 boop. Mm. Is that about right? I think about there should do it. Okay, first impressions. I think they look fantastic. Now, I do have a minor issue, or a couple of minor issues with them. I'll talk about those in a moment. But just, just taking this glory of this Fire Warrior team at the moment. They have got fantastic shelf presence. They're not huge like some towering Invicta Warsuit or Redemptor Dreadnought or whatever, but they do look very, very nice. Okay, let's get a close look, or let's look at accessories first. They all come of alternate hands. So you get a right hand gripping and a left hand gripping, which you can't see because it's not focusing. Like this. They all come with these hands here. Uh... You see there, four-digit hands, not like us with our fives. Okay. Um, this guy here comes with this, which looks like a maybe a clip, a magazine or something. I'm not sure. But it doesn't fit in the gun that I can see. Maybe someone can tell me what that is. And then the uh, leader of the fire team, he comes with this, which is, I'm not quite sure... And also a knife, because Tau are famous for their hand-to-hand -hand combat powers. <laughs> uh, with a knife as well. Okay, so any comments on what these are? Just let me know. In, sorry, any, any ideas what these are? Just tell me in the comments below. Okay, so let's get a close look and I'll talk about the issues. The first issue I have is the feet. The feet aren't ugly. They are accurate, I believe, to the Tau from Games Workshop. But I would have made them slightly bigger at the back just taking a little bit of artistic license maybe one or two millimeters only to stick out further on the hill so they can stand up better because they just are quite difficult to stand up let's get a close look that face is particularly nice 
See the sponging work for the weathering there. I'm not sure I like the barrels on the gun, mind you. I wish they were a bit, I don't know, like drilled, but recessed or something? I'm not sure. Very, very cool. Lovely, the armour and the lines. Very nice, see? It looks like it's a clip for his gun, but where does that go? I don't know, because he's got one too. Uh, backpacks are removable. Now, these are removable, these armour parts on their thighs, but they are so tight on I can just about move this. So you can take off, but they are on very, very tightly, so I would not want to do that. Uh, please stand up. I was at risk having dominoes. Next guy. Let's get a look at him. Very nice with the helmet. Different gun. Same with the nice armor. Same feet. Very cool. And they all got this little hole in the backpack there, apart from the big leader guy. I'm assuming that's where his other thing attaches. I'll look in a moment. Um, but nothing that these guys come with fits there that I can see. Number three. Again, very nice looking. Another issue is this pauldron here. They should have made the top slightly flatter. This has got a little lip there. Because that is going to impede on articulation. That was more angled down, a sharper angle down, a steeper angle. Then that would improve articulation. So I would have taken artistic license of that just a little bit to improve the shoulder articulation which we'll look at in a moment very very nice looking and then this is the hole i'm talking about if you look at the leader i might be wrong about this or i might be right i think i'm right here we go so he has got this little piece here which i think there we go yeah so that can just attach onto their backpacks if you wanted to not sure what it's supposed to be and this one looks like Looks like it's not attached, but I'm struggling to get out. Maybe it is attached somehow. Let me look at his other backpack first quickly. Oh, there's a little pin, I see. There'll be a little there's a little slot. So this one would take out that way. Yeah, but I can't do it. Anyway, let's get the close look. So he's got slightly different, you can see on his shoulder, he's got a different colour. He's got the red sort of antenna on his head as well. But otherwise, he's pretty much the same. Does this, have, does this have a purpose? Can anyone tell me? Does it go up or down? I'm guessing it's down. Very cool. So make sure we can stand up again. Four very, very nice looking figures. Really, really look fantastic. Okay, so I will take my first guy and I will look at articulation. Articulation will be the same on all of them um head will be slightly different obviously because he hasn't got a helmet on now the fingers are really stiff but they do hold the guns very well i quite like the stiff fingers it is a hassle to get weapons into the hands when they're in they do stay in nicely and the fingers are strong they won't break easily now if we look at the big pauldron on his left shoulder our right if you look underneath you can see that i should be able to just pop that out and pop that back in if i wanted to Okay, so articulation. So head, he gets uh, side to side. He can turn. He can go up and down a little bit. All the way around on this arm, the other arm. Can go all the way around too. There is no bicep swivel, but he can swivel from the joint. The hand is on the uh, barbell, so it's directional in all directions, moving in all directions, which is cool. He's got trunk, forwards, backwards, small side to side turn. He's got waist, forwards, backwards, side to side turn. Together, even though he's armoured, it gets a little forwards, a little backwards. He can dip, okay, and turn really well. Legs, out to the side. Yay far. Uh, there is a thigh twist. Forwards, the armour gets in the way, but you could take off if you wanted, but I'll leave it. Backwards is actually really quite good. It only goes out a little bit. They've got a double kneecap. And the joint is not too ugly, to be fair. 
quite tight. Come down to these little feet, which I wish were slightly bigger. Feet, yeah, that's not really a boot turn because it's slanting. There's a small slant when you turn. There is a small hoofy toe, or is that tippy hoof, I guess, and a, a small dorsiflexation. That limited foot articulation combined with their small feet is probably my main issue with my run. I'd rather have slightly bigger feet to offset that limited articulation to help with poses. Now, if I take, I'll use him still. Let me move these others out of the way. And we're going to do, in fact, I'll keep two of them up there. We'll do size and then we'll do a comparison. Okay, stand up for me. Thank you. So let's look at our size in centimeters. So you see, they say 10 and a half. They are approximately 10, 10 and a half to the top of the head, top of the helmet. That is pretty good. It's what we'd expect. Now let's do the fun part. Let's do the comparison. Let me just zoom out for this. Okay, I will use, I'll keep two up there for now. Take these other bits away. Okay, so first let's look how they compare to a uh, death core of Krieg. And you see, scale very, very nicely as you'd expect. Let's see how they scale with an orc. Now bear in mind, this is a mishmash orc I've put together. So these are the other parts for a custom, which I've made a video on and you'll see later. And you see the orc is considerably more butch and he is bigger. And now let's look at a uh, Ultramarine's one here, the Victrix, Victrix God, who is a phenomenal figure. And he just, he just makes them look silly. Yeah, he's just huge and bulky. So they've done the scale pretty well. I think they look good. I really, really like them. It's just that the feet need slightly more articulation or bigger feet to make up for that lack of articulation. That'll be easy to display and do more action poses. But they can be posed. Just that'd be a little bit of a limit there. Great, great looking figures, I have to say. I think they've done a cracking job on that again. Joy to already getting these sculpts really nicely done. Obviously, there's room for improvement with articulation. We know that already from the shoulders of the space range and so what. But they ha have made these look really cool. Okay, let me just quickly set these up and I'll come back in an instant. Looking fantastic. Now, one thing I didn't mention on the articulation is the bicep bend. They get 90 degrees. You can see that on this guy here, his arm is bent at 90 degrees. So the bicep bend is at, you know, the minimum we really, really want it. They just look so good together, really, really. You know, it's like a poster for a movie or something. Fantastic looking figures. I'm glad I've got another one, two sets, I think, uh, coming. Uh, I think they look great. And when you get the other towel stuff, the uh, battle suits and their leader, that's going to be a nice sort of shelf display for you if you're in your forever home and not in temporary accommodation or long-term temporary accommodation like I am here. Okay, I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to this channel. Please check out the Patreon I linked earlier or look in the video description for the details on that. Um, subscribe, as I said, and smash that notification bell icon so you don't miss a video as soon as it's published. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.